How does a snake venom kill you? <laughs> what effect does it have on you? Well, really, it depends on who you are. If you happen to be a lizard or, or another snake, because snakes are cannibalistic, they eat their own kind, of course, um, or whether you're a mammal or a marsupial, the venom changes in its action, but it's multifaceted, this venom of a brown snake in particular. We'll talk about the eastern brown snake because, well, a lot of snakes are similar. That's the one I'm more familiar with. Um, so with the eastern brown snake, what would happen when you get a bite is around the, the side of the bite, your blood immediately clots, which you can see if you milk snakes. If you get a drop of the raw venom and drop it into a bit of fresh blood, the blood immediately clots. That's what happens at the wound site. And this has the effect, conveniently, of not allowing any of the venom to bleed out from the wound. Every bit of venom that it puts into you stays in you. Okay? Now then, as the venom starts to go through your blood with mammals and marsupials, certainly with sheep, I've watched sheep dying from a uh, brown snake bite. Um, what happens with the internal organs is your body goes crazy in trying to overcome the, the, this clotting that's occurring. And it goes overboard for some reason. And so the reverse happens in your internal organs. You start to bleed. Now I've seen this myself, you know, with, uh, for example, sheep, when they're bitten by a brown snake, they get paralyzed, they fall over, um, and then they start to choke. And eventually they die, in the, shape, in, the, in the case of sheep, they die by drowning on their own blood. So that's how a sheep dies, you know. Now that's because you have this clotting agent which turns into a bleeding agent when it's in your body but also the snake is putting a neurotoxin into you which is paralyzing you and uh, with a small creature i mean you know like i've watched a snake bite a cat which i've described in previous videos and it died instantly it basically just became totally paralyzed it would have paralyzed its breathing and everything and just went bong and that was quite a large cat so if it puts a lot of venom into you and you're a small creature you're pretty well done that's it you know and then it swallows you but you've got to understand this paralysis thing is very important for the snake because it doesn't chew it has to swallow its victims whole by detaching its lower jaw and it can't have that creature squirming around it disturbs its ability to um, swallow so it paralyzes its victim the third action of snake venom which varies with species the tiger snake is probably worse than the eastern brown snake with this part of the venom's effect it's what they call the necrotizing effect and that is it's actually starting to digest your flesh immediately the toxin is actually the beginning of the digestive process of the snake so the snake starts to break down the cell tissue in your body with this necrotizing component but would you necessarily die from a snake bite, even from an eastern brown snake bite or an inland taipan? Not necessarily, you know, because just because you've been bitten by the snake doesn't mean that you've got venom in you. In fact, in the time that I've lived in this area, I know of four people who've gone to hospital from a brown snake bite, didn't overnight stay for observation, then got out the next day and never had any venom. The snake had bitten them without actually putting any venom into them for some reason. So, while getting bitten by a poisonous snake is a very serious business and can result in massive internal damage to you and like weeks or months or even years in hospital at the same time you could come out the next day and just be having a beer down the pub talking about it the following evening and it really depends the other thing it depends on is is your individual physiology you know if something as large as a bull can be killed by a brown snake then certainly you can be but we all vary in our individual uh, makeup, you know, so some of us are more resistant to this. Now, for example, um, lizards. There are a number of Australian lizards that are totally immune to snake venom. And in fact, snakes eat each other. They're cannibalistic. And of course, they're immune to their own venom. So snake venom, very interesting stuff. Either way, try to avoid getting bitten. I do. <laughs> See you later.